Hey everybody, this is a walkthrough for the second problem in PSET 2. I'm assuming that you've already completed problem number one. If you haven't, go do that because everything here builds on top of some of the results from that. Okay, so let's look at the specification first. Paying off debt in a year. Write a program that calculates the minimum fixed monthly payment, that's key phrase here, needed in order to pay off a credit card balance within 12 months. So what we're doing here is different than piece, uh, problem number one in a good way. Problem number one, you probably didn't pay off the whole debt. For that example we had, I think it was starting with $5,000 balance at the beginning of the year. If you only paid the minimum amount per month, your balance at the end was something like $4,600. So it just you barely chipped away at the total you owed. In this case, within one year, we're going to pay off the whole thing. End up with a balance of zero or less than zero. That's a key point. You have to be at or below zero um, by the end of this 12th month. Okay, so how are we going to do that? Well, I'll walk through some pseudocode in Python in a second, but let's look at the specification. We're not dealing with the minimum monthly payment rate anymore, so that variable we don't need. We're going to be instead making a variable called minimum fixed monthly payment or whatever you decide to call it that will be used in the program. You will be getting the balance and you will be getting the annual interest rate from the grader. So those will be coming in. Okay, the, the great thing about this um, specification I think is that it has very good test cases. You have to test those before you do it and then also very very good hints. So I'll give you a few hints but of course I'm assuming that you've read these also. Um, one of the big hints is that you want to start with an initial payment of either zero or ten dollars however you like to go about this, and then increment that by $10 every time you haven't yet achieved your goal. A way of structuring your code, this is also very good, um, and the thing I'm going to talk about here is if you're still confused, you can use while loops. That's really the thing that we're going to need here. Okay, so let's go over to Python and try out some pseudocode for this. Here is the pseudocode I ended up with at the end of the first problem in PSET 2. So let's think about how that can be used. We know that this first line here, calculating the minimum payment based on the minimum monthly payment rate, is not relevant anymore. That was something, a condition of the contract with the credit card that said you have to pay whatever the grader told us, 2% per month or something, and that's what we paid. Now we're going to be actually setting the amount that we pay. Per month and that's going to take a little thinking about how you want to set that but right here we don't need this line anymore so let's get rid of that what we do need though is the unpaid balance is going to be the balance minus the minimum fixed monthly payment that we will be setting and because we're going to be setting it let's make sure that we declare this somewhere now you don't want to declare it inside this loop but you do want to declare it some somewhere outside that loop right and let's do this let's say right here is value of 0 or 10 perhaps to start so that'll be your initial declaration for that variable and of course this is pseudocode you have to turn that into an actual Python statement okay so once you've got this and let's say you go through this 12 times you come up with a balance at the end of that year and then you've got to test it if that balance at the end of a year is less than or equal to zero, that means you're done. You've paid off the credit card. And that's an important point. It doesn't have to be exactly zero. If you go under zero, that's also okay. So let's think about this. How are we going to test that? Well, we test that with an if condition, of course. So if the balance is less than or equal to, what is it, um, zero, then report the result. Oh, I got that right down here. So let's take that one off here. We're going to report the result later. And of course, you're going to have to round that again. So round it. You want two digits, so the round command works like that. But you've also got to think about what if it's not zero or less than zero, that final balance at the end of a year? What are you going to do? Well, you have to try a new value for that minimum fixed monthly payment. So otherwise um, you want to increase the minimum fixed monthly payment. So just maybe add on a value of 10. And then you do that one more time. 
But now the tricky thing here is with this code we have, it's not going to do it another time. Right? Let's say we've declared this variable, we're iterating over 12 months, we get a result, we test if if it's less than or equal to zero, then report the result. Otherwise, change the value of that minimum fixed monthly payment. There's no way to keep looping here in the current structure we have. This is where that while loop comes in. The hint that we have in the specification is so important. We want to be doing this while some condition is holding. So the challenge for you is going to be to try to find a way of using this while loop construct with this code. You know that you want to be going over this block of pseudocode until you've reached some conclusion, until some condition is met, perhaps. Um, and I say perhaps because there's many ways of um, setting this problem up or coding this. One way is to say, you know, once you've reached a balance less than zero, stop doing all that iterating. Uh, you could say that while the balance is greater than zero, do this stuff. You just have to find a way of doing that while loop and also breaking out of the loop or having a condition so that the loop actually ends and doesn't go on forever. But even more difficult, I think, than the while loop is a way of figuring out how to handle this balance variable. If you use this pseudocode right here as it is, you'll come into a problem. A problem that you didn't come across in problem number one of this p-set. In problem number one of this p-set, we got a balance from the grader, we did 12 months calculations, and then we reported an answer, like how much is left after a year. You didn't have to do any more work with that original balance value you got from the grader. In this case, however, we're doing this guess and check, right? We're making a guess for the minimum fixed monthly payment. Odds are your first guess is not going to be correct. So when you want to go back through this loop, what balance comes in here? Well, it's got to, of course, be the original balance that you've gotten from the grader. But your code has changed that balance. It's bound to a new value. Therefore, you have to think of a clever way. And I think this is really requires the most insight in probably the whole problem set problem set two, is to find a way of managing that balance without overwriting it. Okay, so we've seen this example when we were swapping variables where we had a temp variable that got some value. Many ways of doing this, but just come up with some sort of proxy that can hold perhaps the value of balance. And then things could be done to it. Then it could be replaced with the original value when that time comes, if it comes. Okay, so that's an important thing. One other thing that'll be important here is, of course, rounding. Uh, I mentioned this in problem number one, but do not round until the end. I don't know if it's a problem with this problem, but for problem number three, definitely rounding can cause you to get the wrong answers. Okay, so good luck with that, and uh, see you in problem number three. Bye-bye.